All right, here we go. YouTube subscribers, real quick update on the K24 Civic. We are done with the build. Uh, took the build out already a few times and it performs really, really well. I'm really, really happy with the outcome of the build. Um, I kind of went step by step with everything that I did to the car uh, to be able to help you guys out there trying to do your own K-Swap car um, without having to break the bank and take it to a shop. So pretty much uh, here's what the interior looks like. I just went ahead and gutted everything. Um, probably the only aftermarket part I've used on the build is my Kirky seat, uh, my header and my intake. Everything else is pretty much factory or uh, close to OEM, something a uh, Honda would use. So uh, the car is turnkey, starts right up, runs and drives well. Um, like I said, really, really happy with the car. Uh, had a few questions a few different times. Uh, guys asking me how much did I spend on the build? So um, didn't spend much, pretty affordable, made it really budget. I added a few pieces to the car. I really didn't have to add like my hood bra. Nice and clean OEM, brand new. Also did the SIR uh, power folding mirrors, the Kirky seat. Um, we did do a little bit of suspension, not too much. I did a uh, rear lower control arms and rear tie bar. And then in the front, we did do a traction bar. Uh, you guys can kind of see the bar there a little bit. And um, yeah, so I'll give you guys a quick breakdown on what I spent on the swap. All right, so here we go, guys. Real quick breakdown on the K24 swap. So what I did was I used the JDM K24 TSX Type S. And uh, I went and picked up the long block from an uh, import shop that uh, imports engines from Japan. So fairly low miles and the engine itself cost me 750 bucks. So uh, here we go. We're going to start adding everything up. Um, RBC manifold. I spent uh, 120 bucks. The Accord throttle body factory from a 2003 Honda Accord. Uh, found it at the junkyard, 25 bucks. You guys can find those fairly cheap on eBay. Um, then you're gonna need a water pump housing. So on mine, I did water pump from a K20Z3 uh, with a matching K20Z3 alternator and uh, idler pulley. So the entire setup here cost me 200 bucks. Water pump, pulley, and alternator, including the belt. And then you're going to need a uh, CRV post mount for your K24. That's if you're going K24. That was 40 bucks. Uh, then I did uh, thermal gaskets on the throttle body and the intake manifold. That was 60 bucks. Then I went ahead and got my uh, 2009 radiator with stock hoses. That was 60 bucks. Then we got our hybrid intake, which we did not have to use. We could have used the stock RSX intake box and really cut the cost down. So to go budget guys, just use a RSX box. That's gonna cost you between 40 and 60 bucks. This particular intake cost me a, uh, close to $200, a bit pricey. But uh, like I said, that's just one of the pieces that I wanted to buy. Um, there were a little bit extra that I didn't have to. Then we went ahead and used innovative EKK2 swap mounts, which cost me 350 bucks. You guys can also find those online. Um, I got a discount through one of the sellers that I know. Usually the mount is about 400 bucks. So just keep that in mind, 400. Then I did go ahead and get my um, five speed EP3 transmission which is uh, fairly affordable they're not too pricey you guys can find them between four and six hundred bucks and it works just fine if you guys want to go ahead and go six speed that's really cool I've tried it before um, I just went purposely with the EP3 transmission this time because of what I want to do with the car at the quarter mile or 
right? So then we did our fuel system. Our fuel system, uh, I did go ahead and use my stock fuel rail to make it budget. All you guys need is this fitting. And if you guys want more info on my fuel system, there is a fuel video where I showed my uh, entire fuel system. So on the fuel system, we spent 200 bucks on the lines and the regulator. Then uh, I did do a fuel pump. The fuel pump itself is $140. I used the AEM 340 fuel pump. So then uh, working ourselves uh, back over on this side of the car, I went ahead and got the alpha header. The alpha header is about 400 bucks. You guys can cut the cost down with the alpha header. You can use a stock TSX type S stock header with the downpipe. So this will save you 400 bucks guys. Um, I did this just cause I wanted to. Um, originally I was gonna go with the TSX to show you guys budget. Um, but I just kinda got carried away there a little bit and bought myself something nice. Um, then, uh, we are using a stock OEM clutch. Those are run you about 200 bucks brand new. Then we use the uh, RSX Type S shifter box with the RSX Type S cables. You guys are gonna find the set for about 100 to 120 bucks. Uh, that's how much I paid for mine. Uh, also got that on eBay. I got lucky and found a really good seller. Then uh, going inside, we use the Type R ECU. You guys can find that for about 300 bucks. Uh, fairly cheap compared to using your uh, money and going K-Pro. K-Pro is pretty pricey. Um, sometimes it can hold you back due to saving your money and just kind of waiting to get the K-Pro. You know, you want to get your car on the road. This is the fastest, easiest way. And then what I did was I used a EP3 engine harness. The engine harness, you guys can also find find it fairly cheap. Being EP3, you're gonna find it between 100 and 200 bucks. Uh, me personally, I was lucky and found mine for I think 100 bucks. So um, yeah, moving forward into the uh, interior of the car. You're gonna use the swap harness, which I also have a video showing uh, the Fenetric swap harness. That cost me 140 bucks. Uh, a little bit cheaper than the rest of the harnesses out there and it works great. Um, and that's pretty much it guys, that, that covers the swap. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing is the axles. On the axles I use the Yanaka stage two axle. The axle is actually very affordable. It's only about 180 bucks, 200 bucks for brand new axles. And they work out because they're 36 millimeter, sorry, 32 millimeter, and they'll work with your stock hub. So um, yeah, guys, I hope I didn't miss anything. You guys can add it up. Actually, we'll add it up together. And uh, yeah, guys, that's the total right there budget k24 swap real simple real easy um just takes a little bit of effort and um i find it quite fun building these kind of cars you know putting every piece together and uh just getting it going so uh yeah guys hope this was able to help you guys comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think i do have a new update coming up we're gonna get ourselves our uh, tires set up and just kind of make the car look a little bit cleaner, make it hook a little bit nicer. And uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think.